So this is so important in terms of when you're using an artificial intelligence agent to help you query into CloudTrail because this simplifies the way your AI agent can talk to CloudTrail. And what CloudTrail does is that it records everything that is happening inside your AWS account. And setting this up is super easy. And there are several features that's really powerful. One is event lookup. So you can see the following search CloudTrail events by various attributes, including username, event name, resource name, and more. So this is really powerful. Next up, if you are also using, for example, like CloudTrail Lake Analytics, so you can execute advanced SQL queries against CloudTrail Lake for complex analytics, filtering, aggregation, and so on. You can do user activity analysis, or right? track and analyze user activities across AWS services by filtering events, by username, access key, or other user-related attributes, API call tracking, and so on and so forth. So really powerful, super easy to set up as well. I'm going to show you how that looks like. So in terms of the architecture of things, this is how it looks like. So on the right side, we have, for example, Q Developer, and of course, your best friend forever, Mr. Hacker Loy is going to be using the IDE version of this, which is installed into my computer. And what we can do here is to set up the MCP server itself. And once we have set up the MCP server, this will allow us very quickly to be able to query over into CloudTrail. So what exactly is CloudTrail then? CloudTrail will allow us the ability to investigate and track and lock who say Mr. Hackaloy or any other user is doing what on your AWS account. And with Q Developer integrated with the CloudTrail MCP server, we can place in those parameters very cleanly, very quickly over and help us speed up our investigation process using the AI agent. So yeah, you literally have Mr. Hacker Loy at your disposal. So right here, I set up my Visual Studio Code and integrated development environment. And the first thing you need is of course, making sure that your Amazon Q extension is available. So you can see on the left side, I have Amazon Q extension installed and it's up and running. So before we go any further, the first thing we need to do is to configure our AWS credentials so that it is accessible by Amazon Q as well as the MCP server that we'll be setting up. So the first thing we need to do is enter the following AWS configure SSO, hit enter on that, give the SSO session a name, say Loy, I hit enter on this, and it states the following, right? There are four AWS accounts available to you. So in my case, I will select onto developer Loy, Okay, I will have a CLI default client region and I will have CLI default output format and then this CLI profile name, let's enter Alloy for that. And you can see the following. All right, so AWS S3 LS dash dash profile Alloy, hit enter on this and we'll be able to list the S3 buckets directly from the command line interface. Now, moving forward, it's about adding the MCP server of CloudTrail here. So you can see there is a configure MCP servers. So go ahead and click onto that. And right here, we can select onto the plus icon at MCP servers to extend Q's capabilities. Go ahead and select onto that. And right here, this is the place where we'll be adding in the information. So in my case, I'm entering say CloudTrail. All right, the command I can enter UVX. Again, all these are directly available in a documentation. For example, this is the one. So we have the arguments over here. So I can do a right click, copy, head back over into my IDE. I can paste it as an argument. All right, and then heading back again to the documentation, it states the following AWS underscore profile. Let's copy on that. Head back over to the IDE and enter the value of Loy. And then finally, the timeout settings. All right, so go ahead and click save on that. Activating MCP server. So once we are done, we can close on this one. Head back over to chat and say the following of giving a prompt and say, is there any suspicious activities from user hacker Loy in CloudTrail over the past one hour? And what we can do now is go ahead and hit enter on this. And you can see right now, Amazon Q developer is checking and it is setting up a look up underscore events for us. And you can see the tool icon right here indicating that we are using the MCP server. And all we have to do now is to authorize it by clicking run. And you can see the following. 
All right, right here is working. It received a response. All right, no cultural events were found for the user. Okay, so if I scroll down further, you can see the following. Okay, no cultural events were found for the user. Hack a law in the past hour in the US East One region. This user hasn't performed any AWS API activities in the past hour. The user doesn't exist or the username is incorrect. Activities occurred in a different AWS region and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is something that you can easily run from. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and log in over into the AWS account and start doing some things and see whether Amazon Q Developer can help us pick that up. All right, so I ran a couple of things inside the AWS account. And what we can do now is to post the question back again using Amazon Q Developer to help us investigate what's going on. So what I can do now is, is there any suspicious activities from user hacker Loy in CloudTrail over the past, say, 30 minutes? Let me know. All right, hit enter on this and same thing. What is going to happen right now is that Amazon Q developer, your AI agent, is going to hit over into the CloudTrail MCP server. It's going to put in the following parameters, as you can see right here. It will run and retrieve those information for us and then begin to analyze what is going on, All right? So in this case, we need a smaller result set to avoid the character limit. And you can see it automatically updated the max results i click run right now you can see the following information working we got the response or the result and here's the following information all right based on the cloud throw events for user hack along in the past 30 minutes here's what i found okay actively using cloud throw and AWS console services all activities appears to be legitimate administrative tasks rather than suspicious behavior, okay? So multiple lookup events. I was setting up certain information. All right, you can see I'm using a Firefox browser, so really powerful and very quickly, we're able to get these details through the analysis from Amazon Q Developer, okay? 